Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nana and today I am back with another cast. Or actually this is a two-part um, collaboration video. It's uh, a two-part collaboration video. <laughs> yep, that's what it is. So I have a little bit of a cold, so if I sound like <laughs> very nasally, that's why. And uh, it's a good thing I decided to do this today because I think if we waited any longer, I mean, I might just, I might just be, you know, blowing my own horn here because um, I might sound even worse by making uh, this video now so I don't sound all too bad <laughs> next week. Oh, also, let me actually talk about the video itself. So uh, stay tuned to the end to see her sim because it's part of the challenge or part of the collab. But uh, this is my sim. I am making a male. She made a female. So in the end, the whole like, a picture of um, both my sim and her sim. So you have a... I hope you like the dude. Uh, I don't do Sims 4 cats very often anymore, and I don't really do dudes anymore, but I still like them. Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, I don't want to bore you too much with my talking because I know I ramble and it's probably still been too much, but I um, hope you enjoyed my. and uh, cough cough. <laughs> my very nasally. Uh, I guess it could be worse. Oh, it's been worse. Oh, whatever. Anyway, um. I, I, it, it, yeah, it, it's messing with my head. Like, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> but I definitely wanted to talk to you guys for a second and say, Hey, spend less time behind the computer. It does wonders for your brain. It doesn't cause co what? It doesn't cause cold stuff. It's coincidence that I got a cold as soon as I start, you know, spending time away from my computer. I think so. Unless it's withdrawal symptoms. Do you think withdrawal symptoms would look like a cold? Hmm amount to something <laughs> anyway uh yeah so definitely like i said check out her channel down below i'm doing a collab thank you so much for collabing with me alia and um yeah that's it <laughs> hey guys jumping back into live mode just a second i'm recording this a few days after so my voice is a little worse than it was when you heard me a few seconds ago so i hope you guys can bear with me uh, for the rest of this video. So this is the finished sim. This is uh, Dante Height. I imagine him to be someone that say he has more clothes related to like Salvadorada and that kind of style. Um, whatever you wanna you wanna call it. So this is a sim I made, and uh, now I'm gonna show you the sim that she made. So uh, this is Raquel Foss, and uh, she wants to have a big fam a big happy family, and she's family orientated, a cat lover, and very active. And um, as you see, Dante is more focused on uh, being a chef. So he really loves food and he loves dancing. It kind of comes from his culture. He loves dancing and music and good food and like all the, you know, Salvadoradian sort of word <laughs> kind of style. But his bad trait is that he's a kleptomaniac. So he, uh, he really likes to steal. And um, I want to say steal. I think they call it borrowing. You know, you kind of borrow something without asking for permission. I think that's um, more... I think that's what it's called. I mean, I wouldn't say steals. He just doesn't tell people he's loading. Okay, so he's not exactly stealing. He's just, he just forgets to, you know, the small details. But I, I thought it would be fun because I feel like nobody's really perfect, and that would kind of mix well. Because I didn't obviously you can watch her video. Her video is in the link uh, description down below. Make a little family and uh, make a little house for the family. It's kind of like a sim um, cast and a house that kind of. Wow, <laughs> good. Let's try that again. It's like a cast and a house building collab in one. Um, so I did that. I mixed their jeans, and this is the first uh, girl. And because I feel like um, I wasn't really sure which last name to pick, I picked both because I, I don't know. It's like different. I don't really don't really do that. So here we have Sabrina. So Sabrina is a freelance botanist and she likes to collect. So I thought this was kind of a, a perfect um, kind of hint to her dad. She likes to collect things, but instead of actually being a kleptomaniac and, you know, borrowing without permission, she actually collects things herself that she doesn't have to return or, you know, anyone actually own at one time she is a vegetarian and she loves cooking so she's very um she takes very much after her dad and i haven't actually changed her look yet i just wanted to kind of show you what she looked like right now before i do any of the um you know the transformation of the cc makeover you know what it's like you know what it's like uh so this is what she looks like and i imagine her to be a girl that very much takes after her dad so you'll see that she's very um She's very much like her dad when he was younger. He was very rebellious, and he's still kind of rebellious, and he, you know, kleptomaniac. You know, he, he probably got that from his childhood. Did a lot of things that were bad for him. So she is in the, um, she is in the, 
She is. Oh my god. She is in the. I can't. I can't figure out the name. The pot fenders. What do you call that? Pot fenders. What's a pot fender? <laughs> Help me out. And then I imagine him, um, them to have a little son, and he takes after his dad as well. But I wanted him to get more of his um, gene. Skipped him, and it went straight to his son. Um, and I imagined him to be kind of a fussy child, and I wanted that too because I feel like these both both these children are gonna be like their dad a lot. A child is something I never pick, and now that I have like a dad, that's kind of you know, kind of like a bad. I don't know, like I, I, whatever. This is them, uh, their kids. So I'll probably go ahead and give them a makeover in just a second, and, um, and then use an existing one and kind of roll with it. So you'll see me go back and forth and kind of skip because it took me so long, and I was just like, this is gonna be never ending, right? This, this, this video is never gonna end. So I tweaked the house, went back a couple times, and then I think the outside looks pretty nice. I, I enjoy it, so I'm, I'm happy with that. The inside took me forever, especially the living area. It was just not working for me. Not working at all. And uh, I like, I mean, I like everything, I suppose, well, almost everything. The parents' bath bedroom, in the end, I added a baby bassinet because I, in my mind, uh, because she is such a family sim, she's such a domestic sim, I figured that two children probably weren't enough for her. And since there is kind of a gap between the oldest, which is a teenager, and the youngest, who is now... Um, you know a toddler that i felt like there is room for more and by the time that there needs to be a new room available for you know for the youngest the teenager probably will already be moved out or she will have you know her place well that's the same thing but she'll probably be moved out so there is time for the baby and you know for having three kids even though there's only two rooms you can also just change i guess change um i could change like the midsection between the bathroom and the bedroom with the parents I could turn that into another room, but I didn't really feel like that. Like, I don't know, just don't feel like it's necessary. But in my mind, they probably will have multiple children. Um, so that's kind of like my vision for this family. Uh, I'm, I'm curious to see what she envisioned for them, but I think that that's what they uh, probably would do. He's obviously going to be a cook because uh, he likes food. And his children are going to be so rebellious. Like I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I'm actually gonna have them as like one of my current households because I think it will be funny to actually play with them. So I'll see if I'm actually going to. I mean, I usually say I will, but I probably never do. <laughs> that's just how it is. I like to play with one family and that's it. Um, as far as the house, there's not much I can say. I tried to have this style kind of mm, from his background mostly. Because uh, I really wanted to use some of this, um, this stuff I've never used, like the van and the plants and the rugs and the chairs. So I figured it was a nice opportunity to use those and it kind of matched his, you know, his background. At least what I envisioned for him. Then um, I struggled with toddler's room as well because I, I wanted to make it look nice. But I don't particularly enjoy really childish like rooms for little kids. So I was like, hmm, <laughs> like, what am I going to do now? And then I ended up making it a little more mature, but not too much. I lined up the colors, which I think helped a lot. And for the teen, I was like, she is in such a phase right now, like rebellious, like her dad. So I wanted her to have like black only. I remember at one point I was, well, I'm still kind of like black only, but I remember everything had to be black. And I was like wearing these emo hoodies and his scene, you know, scene stuff and these big, like these big hoodies with like the the chains and the necklaces and like the ears attached it was like so fun like the skulls everywhere i feel like she's going through that kind of phase so i want her room to be like black <laughs> just black black everything but she does love plants just like the dad does and she loves food so i think she's gonna take after her dad but i'm not exactly sure maybe the kid the uh the, the boy is actually gonna take more after his mom i mean she is very much into fitness and stuff so perhaps you know this family could be all together into fitness i don't know that yet i mean i think dante kind of looks like he is into fitness he's quite buff um so maybe the kids will be doing that too i don't know for um, for sure yet i mean i haven't really played with them but that's kind of the the vision not the vision here <laughs> i'm telling you this because uh, i guess it's part of the challenge right i was supposed to make a family and here i'm talking about the family um i don't really don't really do a cast in a house building once so i feel like i should talk about this sim and how i envision this house for them not like i have anything else to talk about right besides me having a cold and that's not that's not much fun to talk about is it 
Um, so in the end, I hope you like this house. I'm not sure if it's going to be up or not. I'll probably, um, I'll probably export it into a tray file and then you guys can download it. I don't use the gallery. I'm sorry. I never play Sims online. I just don't do it anymore. I just stopped doing it and I feel great. <laughs> I feel great. My computer, like this computer is so old. And I feel like it runs really bad when I play Sims online. Um... So I don't know what to do besides not playing online, which is the only thing that works. But I do want you guys to have this family and have a chance to download the house as well. So I'll make sure to export them both to trade files. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> no, just kidding. I know you guys always ask me, Nana, you never put things online anymore. Yeah, I do. I, I mean, I don't. I know I, I know I don't. Okay. Yeah, I know. I, I do that. But for this time i'll allow this okay you can download my masterpiece and her masterpiece together the master okay whatever <laughs> anyway um okay so how about a story time right because this is gonna take a long time let's talk about something so you want to know something it's not exactly fun but okay you know last week no it was what was last week it was it was the first night when i got a cold which is like three days ago so let's say three days ago i was sleeping right i was going to bed at like 11 normal time and there was this guy just like yelling outside yelling and yelling and i was like mm, okay 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 i went to bed and i woke up like at half past 12 and i heard my neighbor talk and uh, my mom was talking and i was like huh you know like mm, like what are you guys doing i'm trying to sleep here like shush <laughs> shush woman and uh i did that um, oh, I didn't do anything, but I mean, I, I went up and this guy was still yelling. And you know that thing when you want to go to sleep, but then people are yelling and people are talking and you're kind of like interested because you want to know what happened, but you don't want to get out of bed and know and go see for yourself. So you're trying to listen and then go to sleep as fast as you can, but there's no sleeping because it just, it won't hurry up fast enough to know what happened and for it to be over. Like I'm curious, but I want to sleep. You know what I'm feeling? I do. I do a lot. So I uh, I got out of bed. I was like, mm, I'll go pee. I went to pee. I know I pee too. I'm only human, right? So I went to pee and I came back and they were still outside. I was like contemplating, like, mm, what do I do? So I listened in and I was like, mm, this sounds juicy, right? That's juicy. So I get out and I'm like, hmm. So um, apparently there is this. If you have to imagine, my house is like, well, you can't see me, okay? But my house is like at the bottom of the screen, and then you have I can see across the street. And across the street, which is like all the way to the other side of your screen, right? Okay. All the way to the left corner, okay? That's where I could look. But then there's like a, a dead end because I can see the back of it. But obviously not the front because I look towards the back, if that makes sense. So apparently it was a guy there at the front of the, you know, the house, which I couldn't see. And he was like, I'm going to commit suicide. I'm going to jump on this sled. It's too high i'm um, two floors high and i'm gonna do it I was like, please and we're like trying to get him down in the end i think they got a ladder and he climbed down and then he was i think taken on like the what do you call it like the stretcher i think they forced him down or something and took him to the hospital like that was really interesting i mean it wasn't fun but you know i can imagine i was like half asleep and thinking mm. apparently this guy sorry for a sniff i'll promise i'll <laughs> sorry not do it too much i'm just i'm just messing with you right now oh and he just needs oh but um apparently his friend committed suicide that day and he couldn't take it so he wanted to do it as well having that said this year so many people have killed themselves near my like near my neighborhood one second he just needs again <coughs> so where my house is, if you go like five minutes further, there's like another house, another flat, and that's where my grandpa lives. And apparently, that flat is really famous because it's well, it's not famous, but it has like a lot of more. Like, I have nine floors here. My grandpa has like five, but on the other side of his flat, it's I think there's like twelve or thirteen. So if you jump there, it's obviously gonna make more of an impact than if you jump from two. So apparently, there's a lot of people that jump from there, and it's been like there. If you walk there, there's like a lots of like dents in the floor where people have jumped. It's really famous. Like a lot of people have jumped here, um, which is not a good thing to be famous for. But you know, it's really famous. Um, so there was a dude, a woman actually, that jumped down, and apparently, she was screaming before she did it. Everyone was like, "Oh my God, she was killed!" You know. But in the end, it turned out to be like a famous politician or something that was undercover like hiding from it oh no no the way she was she had an allegation she was raped by people 
but nobody no her daughters no her daughters okay it's coming back to me juicy facts her daughters were raped by people i think two or one daughter was raped by people or by two people i don't know exactly and nobody believed them and i think she blamed herself so much that she jumped off the flat mm -hmm. and another occasion it was actually my best friend's uncle i think yeah so I think it was the brother of her mother, so it's like her uncle, I think, and he jumped off the flat um, at my grandpa's flat as well. But I think he just only did like from three or four, and he landed on the um, what do you call it? Like the it's not a roof. Like I don't know if you know what a flat looks like, but there's like an entrance way, and there's like a little flat roof, and then there's like you know, then the floors come. I don't know. This sounds really weird. Just trying to imagine it. And he jumped from the flat onto that like little roof part. I think he survived, but then he died later um, from all his like injuries. But he was like depressed and stuff, and he couldn't take it anymore. Like he was depressed for years. Still, so it's really sad, but it really makes you think how many people actually want to kill themselves these days, and they actually do it because like it happens around me, and it just makes you think like, oh, wow, like I have no words. It's just I know this story is, is over now, and I'm, I'm kind of like a loss for words now, but sniff sniff nip <laughs> anyway back to this video um because i don't really have much more content to fill you guys up um so i figure this is the best i can actually do to keep you entertained for a little longer right um i'm probably gonna make my food now yeah that's very interesting i'm probably gonna make a pizza tonight because i have a cold and it just pop it in the oven put some sauce on the bitch and put some mushrooms put it in the oven dopey you want to hear some cat dopey He wants food. I'm sure he wants food. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up. So, um, in the end, I'll have some screenshots. I'll have some, um, maybe some game. Would you just like some gameplay of this family? I don't know about that. Probably not. We'll see. Um, yeah. <laughs> Probably not. Anyway, uh, I'm a little all over the place right now. My nose is like, mm, I mean, my brain. See, I'm not even, that's not working properly. Anyway. I know. Dopey's like, ah, shut up, woman. Shut up. I don't want to hear your annoying voice. Aren't I right? Hmm? Am I right? Yeah, I'm right. He's like, mm hmm. Yeah, mm hmm. Anyway, I'm available for everyone. I don't deny anyone. I've been denied so many times because I don't have enough subscribers. Like, hello. Uh, I have 3,000 subscribers. Like, how many do you want me to have before you acknowledge that I'm not someone that just has, you know, one sub and that's myself? <laughs> my mom like three people you know it's like how much do i need to prove myself that i'm actually a decent person because i feel like people just think oh they have like 10 subs like they're not into this they'll just be like gone the next day they only want one view for fame and bullshit like hello i have 3,000 subs and people still think i only do it for the fame like hello if i wanted to collab with a famous person i would just suck up a lot of subs always say uh, yeah i'll do a sub I'll, I'll do a collab with someone that's like lower but I feel like you have to kiss their butt first before they lower themselves to actually collab with you. But that's just me. I mean, maybe I just have experience with bad people. Like, I don't know. Maybe that's just it. Anyway, rambling too much. Comment. Wow, that's... I uh, don't do advertising. You don't have to comment. You don't have to subscribe. But at least like the video. Well, you don't even have to do that. Just watch the video. That's enough. <laughs> get my money. Give me money. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I do get paid when you watch the video. But, you know. You know what I'm trying to say here. I don't just... Whatever. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna have a pizza now. <laughs> I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye.